a revolutionary greetings comrades uh, in this video we want to address just the two questions that were raised by comrade kakleho makola jacob uh, he was responding to one video where we were discussing the gold mafia and zimbabwe elections uh, you'll recall that al jazeera has broadcast two episodes of the gold mafia and would say uh, as the Zimbabwe Communist Party, we are going to do an analysis after all the episodes uh, have been flighted or we've watched all the episodes because it would be difficult uh, for us to do a comprehensive analysis on the gold mafia without listening to all the episodes that Al Jazeera is currently airing. But for the purposes of this video, uh, Comrade Kakle Hong. Makola Jacob then writes, and I will quote, Hi, Comrade Mapena, I hear and understand the issues we are putting forward. I'm interested in solutions. One, how do we get the message to those who are in the rural areas? Uh, two, is there an appetite to fix Zimbabwe, or has people given up, especially those in the diaspora? The reason I'm asking is that a lot of Zimbabwe comrades I know at least care very little in what happens back home, especially when they get visas. The, they only want to get permanent residence or citizenship. I see very few organizations and channels on YT uh, talking about how to mobilize all the people. They are more talking about ZEP or visas that issues on the ground. It is then it concludes by saying my two cents close quote. Um, <clears throat> firstly, let, let's deal with the first question, Comrade Jacob. Uh, uh, and we are, we are saying, I read again, how do we get the message to those who are in the rural areas? Yes, I said that uh, the majority of the rural electorate do not have access to DSTV to follow what is happening on Al Jazeera. Uh, many do not have access to YouTube. And I said in the video that we're discussing this, that uh, only about 1.2% of Zimbabweans that watch, or people that watch my channel are in Zimbabwe. Uh, uh, like in the last 20, uh, 28 days, I think about 64,000 people watched in my videos. Uh, only 1.2% of those are based in Zimbabwe. Uh, you can then calculate in terms of the percentage of people that watch. Uh, it's, it's because of a, it's because of data that people do not have data. So the question, therefore, which are putting forward, how do we get the message to those who are in the rural areas? In one chat group that we're discussing this with comrades, is that it's important that uh, we record or we produce uh, activities of the gold mafia uh, uh, investigation by Al Jazeera. Uh, uh, if we can record these DVDs, we circulate in communities. Uh, uh, I'm sure there are those that can assist also in recording cities uh, that, that can be uh, sent to communities. Uh, if it is possible, uh, we might be able to reach more people, particularly in urban centers. Uh, who will then understand when we talk of uh, what uh, Al Jazeera is discussing, the gold mafia. Uh, uh, because what the question that we're raising uh, in that video was, to what extent will the gold mafia as aired by Al Jazeera have an impact in the upcoming elections, which are expected to be in July, August? Uh, uh, and, and of course, what, what the other thing that... Uh, uh, people have access to, uh, over 50% of Zimbabweans have access to WhatsApp. They listen to short messages or voice messages on WhatsApp. Uh, so the challenge that we have from a meta strategic point is that uh, we need to record short voice messages uh, speak, talking about uh, the gold mafia once all the episodes have been done so that we are able to reach the majority of Zimbabweans. Your second question then says, is there an appetite to fix Zimbabwe or have people given up 
especially those in the diaspora, indeed there's an appetite. This is why uh, in 2018, uh, Zimbabweans in the diaspora, firstly it was in 2016, that political parties, uh, civil society organizations, uh, uh, signed a, 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 an agreement that uh, they needed to work together uh, to push for a diaspora vote which culminated in the High Court case in 2018. Unfortunately, the court threw it away or out on the basis that the constitution did not give provision for a diaspora vote. Uh, and it said that parties represented in parliament should look into the issue of amending the constitution. Uh, while there's appetite from those that are in the diaspora, there appears not to be appetite to have diaspora vote from the parties that are represented in, in, uh, in the Zimbabwean parliament, that is uh, ZANU-PF, C, and uh, MTC in its various uh, formations. Uh, the, the reason why uh, people are, want to be legal in South Africa, uh, because you continue saying that most people that you know, they want permanent residence, they want to renew they are ZEP, the one citizenship. Uh, uh, in, in 2010, when uh, people were given permits, in every election, most of the election that happened, 2013, uh, people did uh, manage to go and uh, cast their votes in Zimbabwe because it, it makes it easier for people to cross the border when you are legal. Uh, to go and uh, vote and uh, come back. But of course there are challenges uh, in that uh, uh, people do go register to vote like uh, uh, we are approaching the Easter weekend and uh, most of the issues that we'll be discussing in this YouTube channel uh, is to encourage those that will be going for Easter weekend to register to vote. Uh, but the challenge is when a worker goes to register and vote when they are on holiday, uh, holidays as they will be going on Easter weekend, it becomes difficult when an election is held uh, uh, outside the holiday, which uh, of course will be end of July or so. It becomes difficult for people to travel back to Zimbabwe to go and vote. But those that afford it to, uh, they do uh, go and vote. And the second point linked to this is that we have been running various campaigns uh, to encourage, to ask those in the diaspora to encourage their relatives to register to vote uh, in the elections. So people in the diaspora do uh, uh, raise finance for various candidates. So it shows that there's appetite. Uh, uh, if you look into Zimbabweans that are in Europe, in South Africa, in North America, they do raise. A, a, a money for fuel, for a campaign material and so forth a, because in, they cannot physically go and uh, cast their votes. So there's this campaign that is ongoing where people uh, are saying in our ward or in our constituents, uh, this is the person that wants to wants, we want uh, him or her to represent us. Therefore, people finance uh, the campaign of that particular individual. Uh, uh, so indeed, there is appetite. It's not that Zimbabweans have given up. Uh, this is why we have so many organizations, uh, civil society organizations, that uh, are interested in the welfare of Zimbabweans. Because for the last 22 years, uh, Zimbabweans in the diaspora, particularly in South Africa and Botswana, they have been keeping that economy running uh, through uh, remittances, through sending groceries to Zimbabwe. Uh, I think we have dealt in one video uh, about uh, how people send uh, their groceries. So in conclusion, Comrade Kakeho, Makola, Jacob, and many others who think that uh, because the Zimbabweans want uh, to legalize their stay in South Africa, uh, South Africa to most Zimbabweans, uh, it's a place of work. They do not want uh, to permanently reside in South Africa. They want to be able to work until retirement uh, because there is no prospect of them getting employment in Zimbabwe. So therefore, this is why they will then say 
uh, if there's a chance to renew the Zimbabwe exemption permit, please do so, so that we continue working. If there is a chance of granting permanent residence, uh, please do so, so that you continue working until retirement. Most Zimbabweans that uh, uh, we talk to, they want to retire in Zimbabwe. This is why if you follow Zimbabweans in a number of social media platforms, they are running a campaign which says rural home is the best. So people will realize that instead of buying properties in cities in Zimbabwe, they are now developing their rural areas. Uh, we once uh, 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 interviewed on this YouTube channel uh, domestic worker, many domestic workers from uh, Bulili Mamangwe who, who, uh, who purchased a, a ball mach a drilling machinery, that big truck, to drill their own poles because they are preparing for their future. So there, there is a, this realization that at some point, uh, Zimbabweans will certainly go back, particularly after retirement. And the people are asking, where will we retire to? So this is why people are building their rural homes. Uh, this is why people uh, want to contribute to the economy of Zimbabwe. This is why people want a step with Zimbabwe so that uh, people will be able to retire uh, to Zimbabwe. Please. Uh, uh, send your questions. Uh, uh, I know, Comrade Jacob, uh, uh, you might not be satisfied with the answer, but I hope you are. Uh, 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 but you are free. Let's continue to engage and uh, many others. Otherwise, please circulate this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Andrew Comrades.